what is up everybody my name is monkey Liger. welcome back to Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion uh, on the last time we did a few quests well DLC investigate you uh your heirloom so I said I was going to no one even knows I can do it Alright then. So I gotta go. Blah blah blah. Superiori. Where's all my where does the world map look like? I mean So I need to go to Joffrey. Go to Joffrey. I like how you can fast travel there. Like you can already like get it done. Alright, ready. I've arrived at the per <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. Priory? Prairie? Greetings to you. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. <laughs> I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Uh, I brought you the king, the amulet, the king. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Uh, who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words... Close shut the jaws of oblivion certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of oblivion by magical barriers. I can't believe in fitness, then. I'm not sure. Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The amulet of kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Ooh. Yes. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods. Ooh, look at that. Shock. Really? Yeah, I got to turn that back on. I have a fan blowing in my computer because my computer, my CPU fan isn't that good. 
Well, it came with the CPU, but it's just terrible. <laughs> and it gets loud. So I have the fan. It's louder than a fan whenever it's off, but the fan slows the CPU fans down and keeps everything cool. So it's, it's really cool. Okay. I have that. The old one. Grease, Ooh, leather grease, but I can also level up the uh, heavy suit. There we go. Let's Bye. go to Kavash. Is it Kavash? Where is it? Yeah, Kavash. Kavash. What sucks about this game, I. Well, what doesn't suck. I'm gonna talk about what sucks, but no. What sucks is that my recording picks up everything darker than what I see. So this looks like this in recording, but it doesn't look like it to me. I'm just showing you where the brightness setting would be if I wasn't recording. Yeah, um, w in the, uh, in video, I'm going to show you how the uh, brightness level would be. If it would show the recording, it would look like that, just everything, but now it's darker, so it's better. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. <laughs> uh, yes, and yes. Right. Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! Run from what? God's blood! You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night! There were glowing portals outside the walls! Gates to oblivion itself! There was a huge creature! Something out of a nightmare! Came right over the walls! Blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. Hmm. The whole city can't be destroyed. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. How did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Savlian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. Calm down. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. Calm down. Holy shit, dude. I'm just lucky to be alive. <laughs> now you gonna talk to me? No. Yeah, boy, there it goes. God, I haven't seen that in ages. What are you talking about? Look at the sky, it's turning red. The closer you get to a, um, a oblivion gate, the darker, well, the redder the sky gets. Because it's basically tearing open a portal to oblivion and causing your world to turn into oblivion. That's why everything's all burned over here and looks like oblivion. Hey, what's up? Best you can do? What's the matter? Get in yeah! Oh, shit. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. Uh, what happened here? We lost the damn city. That's what happened! 
It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground. That's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. I can help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. Okay. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Cool. Good luck. It's a brave thing. Into the gate of hell! See our first problem. Got some texture issues over there. Oh shit. He gets hurt. This is Thank the Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... taken. They were taken to the tower. All right, what's going on? Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. Alright, fine, Captain Matthews. Need your help out. Fine. The captain is still holding the barricade. I figured I was the last one left alive. All right, I'll try to get out of here and let the captain know what's going on. <laughs> Yay, blood grass. No, blood grass is actually really good. I don't know what it does, but I know it's pretty good. Uh, should be in here. Yep, chameleon. Real good. Damn, I'm getting shit around. Hey, uh oh. That is damage health. Yeah, this is just poison. Maybe I should use a fucking blade. What are my majors? Yeah. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> 
Seven pieces left. <laughs> no. I need magic. That's why I get to be fine. There's an enemy up there. Maybe I should have picked up the claymore. <laughs> Daedra got mine. Keep me, bitch. Turn the difficulty back down. They are resistant to fucking fire. What's in this tower? If I can get in that tower. I don't think I need a torch. Can I go in this tower? Yes, I can. 